Nosters, it's Allie with this week's work from home craft and we will be making cute little origami uh, corner bookmarks for all those books that you suddenly have time to read. How exciting! So for the first half of the video, we I will show you how to just make the actual origami part which is really easy or if you have more supplies at home, you can learn how to make maybe like a pokeball or a fun little animal. So these are super fun, super easy, and super cute. Let's get started. All right, so the first step we wanna do is create a square. Um, this is in fact a square, but we want it to be smaller. So what we'll do is take one of the corners and fold it eh, about this big. And then we'll go ahead and just trim along this line and this line so that we can have an appropriate square. If you want it to be smaller, you can do maybe here. It all depends on how big you want your bookmark to be. All right, friends. Now we have cut out our two different square sizes. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and work on the bigger one just because it can be a little bit easier to see. So you want to keep it folded on this diagonal and crease it. From here, you just want to take one of the sides and line it up here so it's in the center and then you will crease it again. So now you'll take the other side and line it up the middle as well and crease it. From here, we'll take this apart. We will take, we should have a crease here and a crease here. I don't know if you can see it on here. So now we will take the center piece and fold it down so that the corner touches the bottom and crease. And from here, we will take this right side. It already has that nice crease here and we'll fold it here and go ahead and tuck it underneath this middle fold. Then you will want to crease yet again. And then you will take your other side Go ahead and crease it again, fold it over, and there. That is how you make your simple corner bookmark. All right, so now I am going to show you um, a little step up from just the origami fold, and that's going to be this cute little pokeball bookmark. So what you'll need is um, red and white paper, a glue stick, scissors, and a black Sharpie. So first thing you will want to do, I am choosing to do the red as the base. I think it's more fun than just plain white. And we are going to fold it to create our origami once again. And that was a bad fold, so we'll go ahead and do this side. And we want to make sure that we have a corner that's going to fit in here. So you'll just want to go ahead. And what I did was kind of just fold it on top to make it about even. That doesn't have to be perfect. You can always trim it. Perfect. So now you will want to cut out uh, these squares again. So now I have my two squares cut out. I'm going to go ahead and put the white one off to the side. And we are going to fold the origami again. So make sure it's creased here. We fold up both sides to the middle. Fold this side up to the middle. And you can tell, like, mine's not a perfect square. I have some hanging off, but it's really okay. So we'll go ahead and unfold. Have the corner meet the bottom. 
fold each side underneath. And I happen to be using cardstock, so it's just a little bit thicker um, than computer paper or maybe construction paper would be. I'm going to go ahead and put the white part of the Pokeball here because that's the bottom. So we just want to cut out about halfway, if that makes sense, on the diagonal. So it's going to be like here. So I'll go ahead and cut a straight line here so that we can paste the white part to the bottom of our Pokeball. All right. So I cut out the um, diag or triangle. I think triangle would actually be more correct. And I am just going to go ahead and glue this little triangle. Two, I said I wanted it on this part that goes into the book because that's the bottom of the Pokeball. And we'll just go ahead and press that down. Now, the next step will be to take our Sharpie and draw these lines in a circle in the middle. But before we do that, we want to cut out a circle to out of our white paper to put in the middle of our pokeball how you'll want to do that is probably take a pen not a sharpie and you'll go ahead and just draw a circle and you might need to do it a few times i know it's hard to draw nice circles and you'll go ahead and just cut one of those out all right i have the little circle cut out but now what I want to do is take my Sharpie and start drawing a black line on both sides. And go all the way across. From here, you'll just want to draw your circle in the middle. And you can always go bigger if you want, but I think this white part would fit in here. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and just color it in just because. And we'll draw our best circles. Mine's kind of looking more like an oval, but that's okay. And from here, we will take our little white circle put some glue on it and stick it right in the middle of that black circle and like here I can take a smaller black one and go around the edges a little bit more to make the circle bigger So now you have something that kind of resembles a Pokeball. It's awesome. All right, so let's see if these bookmarks actually work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my very worn out Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and go ahead and stick this on here. Boom, it works. It keeps your place, it's super cute, and you made it, which is really exciting. So I really look forward to seeing any bookmarks that you all make. And also, you can just go online or on Pinterest and search origami corner bookmarks. And there's so many different tips and tricks and inspiration for you to make a little bookmark.